As a period honest, one thing that we're concerned with is in 2001, it really got brought to light the fact that periodontal disease, which is a chronic infection of the mouth and the gums and the bone, can be linked to systemic problems. And what they found out through the research was that there are elevated risks for certain health conditions if you have periodontal disease. And a lot of patients don't even realize they have periodontal disease because it's almost the one thing in dentistry that doesn't hurt. There's no, usually no pain, and usually by the time there is pain, it's usually really bad. But before that, people are not even a clue that they had gum disease. They just maybe saw their gum line changing, they may saw their roots showing, um, but there was never pain, there was usually not any swelling, maybe they saw a little bleeding. But what we learned through the research was in 2001, the cardiologist pointed out to us, hey look, the patients who have gum disease have elevated risk of heart disease have elevated risk of plaque buildups in the arteries. The statistic right now is two to fourfold increased risk of stroke and heart disease if you have gum infection in the mouth. And that kind of kicked off this huge collaborative in medicine and dentistry where they saw that you're more prone to lung infections, pneumonia. At the time when COVID was around, there was more risk to getting COVID. There's more links to other inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus. I and mean, right now the hottest topic is early onset dementia. You know, especially when we're in a, a health conscious world where patients are more concerned about their health now than they ever have been, but not realizing, hey, I have no pain in my mouth, so everything's good, but yet they could have that underlying problem. You know, so something to be important and aware of.